Thank you for tuning in. I had not planned on doing this video, but figured I would uh, cover this topic mainly because I've been trying to get this Intel T265 camera configured with the Jetson Nano to go on the Hover Games drone build. And the reason is this camera has a lot of capabilities. I'm not going to go into all the details. Uh, you can look it up online, but it essentially allows us to do accurate indoor positioning. It has an IMU, uh, an algorithm called SLAM that runs on the VPU chip inside. So we can get a lot of interesting information, feed that into ArduPilot or PX4 firmware using ROS and have that do uh, local positioning. Uh, the reason I'm putting this video together is I thought it would be straightforward to get up and running with the libraries to be able to access it via Python, but it actually turned out to be a little bit more challenging, not because the commands are complicated, but uh, you just need to know what to do. And at the time of this video, the current uh, image that I'm running on the Jetson Nano is this Ubuntu 18.04.3 LTS. And as part of the install, you can just easily get the package to run the RealSense viewer. So let me just demonstrate that real quick. So we'll run RealSense viewer. And that will fire up a nice interface. We can enable the tracking module. See, we have our fisheye. And I'll pull that off the mount. You can see accelerometer, our pose, the pose estimation down here that's going to be uh, really important as we connect this to the actual aircraft but what's even more important is that i'd like to just become more familiar with the hardware and do some experimentation ultimately in python so let me just do a quick demonstration of that i'll shut down the viewer and i've already gone ahead and built this i want to show you guys the end result and then we can get into how to set this up so we'll go to wrappers there's several different wrappers I'm going to go into the Python library and there's an examples folder. A really good example is the Python T265, our Pi, the roll pitch and yaw are updating. So let me just give an example of pitch. See, we're at zero. If I go down, we'll go to minus 90, then we'll go up. Yaw is updating. So really cool capabilities of being able to uh, tie this into any sort of robotics application. Let's dive into the SDK installation, which will then allow us to tap into the Python wrappers. Now, this is a README that is part of the RealSense library on GitHub and specifically for Jetson Nano, but I will mention that uh, this didn't work exactly for me. It sent me down a couple different paths, and that's why I'm doing this video is to to cover uh, the differences. So the first thing I'll do is I have a VNC session with the Jetson Nano. I have re-imaged it from scratch uh, based on what I showed previously. That was the final working solution and this is now being done from the start. So the first thing I'll mention is that let's just check the uh, Ubuntu version and we'll notice that this is 18.04. There are commands specific for that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, this command so we can get the keys installed and paste that in. Those keys have been installed. Now we're going to go down to specifically the Ubuntu 18 command and we're going to add this repository that has completed successfully. Let's go ahead and install the RealSense 2 utils. I'll paste it in here. At this point we have access to the RealSense viewer which is pretty cool. I've just plugged in the T265 camera to the Nano and we'll go ahead and run this. Probably going to be pretty compact but uh, I'll turn this on and that's a 3D view that shows sort of a 3D a perspective and orientation of the tracking camera. Here are the left and right cameras. That all works well. Now with the utils installed, that's what gives us access to the viewer. We're not going to worry about dev right now. What we'll do is we'll go back to 
the main repository and underneath wrappers there's many wrappers for different languages and the one we're concerned about here is python there are instructions that explain how to do this now this is where i ran into problems this pip install pi real sense 2 did not work for me so we're going to build from source and we'll go ahead and do uh, the apt update and upgrade those are just common things you do to make sure your system has uh, the latest packages now that the update is complete let's clear the screen and what we want to do is it says here we want to install python and python dev now the good news is with the image that comes with the jetson nano we have both python and we have Python 3. Now, what I ran into previously was that I did not have success with Python 3, so we're going to uh, work with Python 2. And to be able to do uh, the build from source, we obviously need to clone the repository so that we can bring this down to uh, the Jetson Nano. So I'll go ahead and let that happen. We're going to go into the RealSense directory. We'll make a directory called build. I'll go into this and we look at the build configuration. I'll show you what worked for me. The key is to be able to specify the Python to executable. So uh, we'll do which Python that's in this USR bin Python directory and we're going to run CMake. We're going to enable the Python bindings and we'll do the Python executable. If you do not specify this parameter, which is how I started, it ends up building for Python 3. I just couldn't get that to work. I'll revisit that. But I do know that this command works. I'll just put a time in front of it so that we can watch and see how long this will take. That took about 19 seconds. Now we'll begin the build process. So I'll do a time again. We'll specify mate J4 and we'll kick off this process. The compilation is complete took nearly 20 minutes so just beware that'll take a little bit of time we're going to install the build file so I'll just do a sudo make install the files are installed you can actually see them in USR local lib we have the pi real sense which is what we're definitely interested in so that we can do Python uh, programming so there are two options here one thing you could do is, as the documentation uh, suggests, you could copy these shared object files into the same directory as your script, but uh, I prefer to add it to the Python path. That just means it's going to be available. So for example, if we go into the Python example directory and there's an examples folder. So for example, if I tried to run one of the example scripts, let's just do the t265 example.py. It's going to tell us that the PyRealSense2 include is not available. So there's no module, and that's where we could either copy the files over or add them to our path. I'm just going to add them to uh, my Python path. So that's done. Let's run that script again. The t265 is plugged into Nano. And what we should see is now we have 50 frames that have come through with position, velocity, and acceleration. That is this script here, this uh, t265example.py. Looks pretty straightforward if you're a Python uh, developer. We just basically call uh, get pose frame and then are able to get the pose data and print that information out. So I'm just getting started with this, but it was really uh, a struggle to get up and running to where I could do Python development. I'm excited about what lies ahead and wanted to share the process. Hope this was helpful. I'll share more in the upcoming videos with integration with the NXP Hover Games drone. If you guys have any questions, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.